Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. So revisiting the Mad Max Paracord bracelet. And of course, uh, the only difference is that this one has a looped or clean finish, as you can see here. So I didn't come up with this idea. Uh, this was uh, done by Creations by S. I wanted to make one for myself, so I figured I'd bring you guys along. But I'll put a link to uh, their channel down below. Excellent channel. And uh, yeah, this is what we're learning today. So it's uh, more or less like the Mad Max Paracord Bracelet, but just uh, the only difference is that we have this nice little closed loop here, which is pretty cool. Nice little um, different look to the Mad Max Paracord Bracelet. All right. So guys, remember if you're looking for uh, you know where to get Paracord and all that great stuff I use in the video, please check out the affiliate links down below because when you shop through those links, you're help helping out the channel. Also guys, if you like what I do, feel free to support me on Patreon if you want to see this channel continue to go on and do great things. All right, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I got my paracord ready here and we're for this uh, closed loop Mad Max paracord bracelet, the Cobra Knot version. We're going to start it off this way. So, I've got my piece of paracord bent over, just uh, divided in the middle here. And I'm going to form a bite like so. Now, um, this first part is where you're going to have to figure out the length of your bracelet. I'm going to give myself roughly 10 inches from here to here. This can be adjusted and played around with, and you'll most likely have to do that just because uh, of the nature of it. So I've got the loop up top here. And now I'm going to take that loop, hold it here. I'm going to take uh, both strands of paracord and feed it through the loop like so. So we're almost like we're doing a cow's hitch. Now, see this uh, section here? This will be the length of your bracelet. So you can kind of estimate your length here. And always remember we will have that little bit of tail where the, uh, the closure will be. So I'm going to give myself about that much closure here. And I'm going to pinch that and hold everything together. So this is what we want. Okay. So loop up top here. Yep. Loop up top here. And then two strands going through the middle like so. Okay. So these two loops are down here and like so. All right, so now next, we're gonna start tying our bracelet. So we've got the two strands going through the middle. You're gonna take one, bring it to the right side, and take the other, and bring it to the left side. And then now from here, you see these strands right here? These will be the core strands, and these two strands on the left and right will be the uh, weaving strands, or the uh, yeah, working strands. So let's start off with the right side. We're gonna bring that over the core, like so. And then on the left, we're going to bring the cord over like that. Put it through that loop. Okay. Then tie that shut. So now this part is just really a little tricky. You might uh, want to tie the second knot, but here you can kind of play around with and adjust the length of your bracelet. Okay, so that's probably a little bit too big. We'll go like here. All right, so now we got that first knot. And again, that's our loop. See, nice and clear. And then now we're going to do the second knot. So remember, lead strand over the core, right strand on top of that, bring that through. Okay, so we've all done this before. Hopefully, most of us have. And pull that shut. And then from here, you can kind of pull this shut as well to lock those strands down a bit. And here, because it's adjustable, even if this is really long, um, you can, you'll always be able to close it off, right? Just depending on how much tail you have left there. All right. So we've got this loop here, the first two knots. And now we just continue tying our uh, Cobra knots. See? So super simple in this one. And you're just going to continue tying these knots. So again, this may take you a couple tries just to get that uh, 
sizing right because you want this to be able to close enough but you may not want this tail to be too long so I think I may have to redo mine because the tail is a bit long but that's okay just for demonstration purposes so you see what I'm doing okay so continue tying your cobra knots always the uh, lead strand over the core left hand over top of that and then out through the other side okay so continue doing that all the way around and uh, yeah we'll finish off from there oh and one more thing before you go too far um, if you want to make sure uh, these two strands are tight where they are pull down on these core strands before you uh, continue weaving too far because uh, you want a good amount of tension on these um, strands so that when you use it as your closure it's nice and tight right so it doesn't um, slide off or uh, open unintentionally and lastly make sure these strands are nice and even okay you don't want one longer than the other here because that could make your bracelet a little weird but um, it should work out because you can just kind of adjust these as you go right so just make sure these two strands are even and then pull down on these to make sure there's a good amount of tension right there Okay, so I'm done tying my bracelet, and as you can see, um, that's the length of our tail. If that's too long for you, you can always kind of restart and adjust that, but I think this is fine just for demo purpose. Now I'm just going to snip and singe my uh, excess, and we'll be done. And what's great is uh, also you can just kind of go, you know, as far as you need to. Um, you can always adjust the size on the fly, which is great um, about this bracelet. So I'm just going to snip and singe the paracord, and then we'll be finished. Okay, and there we have it guys. We are finished. Snipped and singed that excess paracord and this bracelet is done. Again, huge shout out to Creations by S for uh, coming up with this idea. I believe I saw this before way back when the um, you know first few tutorials for the Mad Max uh, paracord bracelet came out. But you know, this is really cool to be reminded of that. And uh, yeah, go check out Creation by S's channel. They got great tutorials as well. And yeah, just another nice little take on the Mad Max Paracord bracelet, which we all know and love. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.